Welcome to the Orion video tutorial series. In this video, we will go over basic timing through regulating and stud adjustment. The movement used in this demonstration is the ETA 2892. To make the regulating process easier, it is a good idea to remove the oscillating weight. Some models require that you remove the automatic bridge as well, such as with the 2892. Remember that the stop lever is held down by the automatic bridge on the 2892, so don't lose it. Here at Orion Watches, we take no liability and have no responsibility for any damage you may incur when opening your watch. If you do not feel comfortable performing this operation, it is best to take it to a certified watchmaker. With the watch fully wound, place the watch dial down on the time grapher. Most watches will time better with the crown unscrewed. The first adjustment you want to make is the beat error, this number here, which can affect your rate and amplitude. Next, you will adjust your rate. In a flat hairspring with regulating pins, adjusting the regulating arm will either lengthen or shorten the effective length of the hairspring. Lengthening the hairspring will slow down the rate, while shortening the hairspring will increase the rate. This is the regulating arm. You can tell the regulating arm apart from the stud because the hairspring runs through the regulating pins, whereas it terminates at the stud. The arrangement of these two arms may differ from movement to movement. When adjusting these arms, be sure not to twist the position of the stud or regulating pins. It's a good idea to use a plexi stick for these adjustments, which should be small and careful. Being so close to the hairspring in balance, you do not want to slip and damage the most sensitive part of your watch. After each adjustment, give your watch some time to settle so the time grapher can detect these changes. After you've adjusted your dial down position, check all positions of your watch. It is normal to see a drop in amplitude from the horizontal to vertical positions. We will explore precision timing in another video. Thanks for watching.